Long focal ranges is one of the most wonderful features of video optics and you'll find uh, generally that you have a pretty good zoom range on many robotic cameras. And when you use a robotic camera to do a lecture capture or a live event of some sort where you uh, often need to be really close to the stage and still move the camera a little bit, you'll begin to interest yourself in how, how smooth can I move the camera, how precise, how quickly can I reframe when I'm zoomed into uh, the subject by 20 uh, times, for instance. And uh, generally, we have tested a lot of different robotic cameras and um, some of them fall into a general category where uh, with Visca cameras, for instance, they have only 25 speed steps and that is really just how it is. And then other cameras fall a little outside of that. Uh, today I brought a new tech camera and also a video camera over here and uh, they are quite different. This is a Visca based camera, also NDI. And the video camera has its completely uh, own set of instructions. If you take a Panasonic camera, it's again a third category. It has its own command set and way of doing things. So with the video camera, I think we have uh, 50, 100 speed steps. With the Visca camera, we had 25. With the PTC camera from Panasonic, you would have around 50 speed steps. And um, I know the Panasonic cameras are quite clever because when you are zoomed really far, they will interpret the speed steps that, that you send to the camera for pan and tilt uh, differently than if you are um, on a really wide shot. So there it is built into the camera that it compensates for the uh, focal length of your shot. While on a Visca camera like this you generally don't see it. And in that moment you begin to interest yourself in how does the controller support me, which is why we implemented a speed limitation in our controllers generally. You find it often on an encoder knob like these. And because we have these awesome OLED displays, you can see that this is speed limitation for pan tilt zoom and this is speed limitation for focus. So if we look at uh, the new tech camera first, you can see the target of the new tech camera is uh, something that could be a whiteboard in a lecture um, situation. So I'm now zooming and um, at this point in time, I want to reframe, right? So I need to, to do this and Basically, what we can do on a controller like this is to uh, change how far you need to move the joystick before you get the first speed interaction. And right now, the, the swing is full, so um, maybe if I zoom out a little bit, you'll see if I move the joystick here, it is going to um, actually accelerate up to the full speed, while if I reduce the speed limit down to 13%, you'll see a full swing on the joystick is going to cap the speed at a fairly low value, which is useful because it, it, um, it allows you to set an upper limit of how quickly the camera will move when you are so and so close on a given subject. The unfortunate thing about this, and um, there's really not much we can do, uh, really nothing we can do about it, is that the camera itself has only 25 speed steps and it is not um, making those speed steps relative to its focal length. This is different on the um, video camera. Uh, just to uh, quickly defend this camera, it is generally how robotic cameras work. The new tech camera is a wonderful camera, but generally robotic cameras work exactly like this. They do not compensate the speed uh, with the focal length. The uh, video camera doesn't do it either, but it has... Um, it has more speed steps, which gives a little different control here. So let's see what happens when I zoom in, in on this paper. And um, then I try to reframe and you'll see that this camera is really lively. So here you can, uh, yeah, it's really easy to lose track of this target. And um, now I really need the, the speed control of this one. So I'll just dial it down to around 12 and see how this is different. At least I have much better control. Actually, this gives me uh, the motivation to try even further. See what happens if I go all the way down to 1% and you can see full swing of the joystick is really going to move this smoothly over the whiteboard with formulas, right? So there you can see uh, the video camera um, apparently has a better performance in terms of giving you fine control when you are at the maximum focal length of the lens uh, than the new tech camera and the general uh, class of Visca cameras that I have been uh, presented to. Um, and 
as I mentioned, the Panasonic cameras is in a class of its own. Actually, there I think the logic is in the camera, so it will automatically pick up these um, speed reducing uh, features when you are, are zoomed in on, on the subject. Speed limitation of pan and tilt is not the only thing we uh, limit. We can also do it on focus. So if we go back to the new tech camera, for instance, and um, let's zoom in on this uh, drawing a little bit. I need to turn this up. Then uh, we have a focus knob right here. And you can see I can uh, adjust focus of the picture. That's really nice. Um, but maybe these steps are a bit too lively for you as well. So luckily we have a speed limitation on focus as well, so that you can, um, you can move the focus uh, wheel more to fine tune your focus, your manual focus operation on a camera like this one. That's the feature that um, we have seen coming out in a firmware for the new tech cameras over, I think maybe the last year or, or two. I'm not really sure when it was there, but at the time we didn't have it, now we have it. And it's right here on the PTC Extreme on the focus knob uh, at your thumb when you use the Zoom Rocker uh, on this Skahoy um, top of the line PTC controller. Okay, speed steps everyone. Um, this is how you implement the fine grain control of your focus on your pan and tilt and zoom on cameras that has uh, no inherent control of this. We implemented it on the controller using speed limitation.